We have previously seen examples for search and substitute commands. Let us see a few examples for flags that you can use with the substitute command. The G flag will help you replace all occurrences within a matching line. By default, only the first matching portion will be replaced. Let's see an example. Suppose I want to search for apple and replace it with custard. So I can use percentage as my range. So search will happen for all the input lines. My search string is apple and replacement is custard. Let's see what happens by default. So there are four matches, but by default only the first match in each matching line will be replaced. So you can see second and third matches were not replaced. Let me undo this. And now if I add the G flag, then every match in all the matching lines should be replaced. And you can see that is what we get. Let's undo and go back. If you add the C flag, then you will be asked for confirmation before each replacement. Let's see an example. So this was our previous substitute command. Now I am going to add C. So before each replacement, I should be asked for a confirmation. So let's see how that looks. I am going to press enter. So this is the current highlighted match and you are asked what to do with it. You can use Y to confirm yes, N for no and so on. So I am going to press Y. So that was replaced and then the next match is highlighted. This one I am going to say no. For this I am going to say yes and for this I am going to say no. So let's undo and go back. If you use the lowercase i option, then it will ignore case for the search term. So this time, let me search for cat. So currently, ignore case option is set. So let me first unset that option. And now if I try to search for cat, only the exact case match will be highlighted. So let us try to replace all occurrences of cat with dog. So by default, the match will happen case sensitively, provided the ignore case setting is off. So I am going to press enter. And you can see only the exact match for lowercase c a t was replaced. Let me undo that. And if I use the i option, it should replace irrespective of case. So I am going to press enter. So you can see all the matches of cat irrespective of case were replaced. Let's undo that. And now let me set ignore case and let us repeat our previous substitute commands. So this time I am going to not use the i option. So because ignore case is on all these four matches will be replaced. Let's undo that. And now, if I use uppercase i, then this will become case sensitive. So only this match should be replaced. Let's press enter. Let's undo and go back. So as mentioned earlier, these flags are applicable only for the substitute command. There are other ways to ignore case like setting the ignore 
this option and few few other options for search commands so that will be covered later and as we already saw with these examples flags can be combined for a complete list of flags and more details you can go through the help topic s underscore flags